Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is some custom napkins. I'm using Dollar Tree napkins and Dollar Tree foil heat transfer vinyl. I'm also going to use a Amazon vinyl and this would make the napkins pretty inexpensive. So I'm going to link them down below, but I just wanted to show you guys the difference between each vinyl. I didn't do anything real serious to this uh, design. It's just text and a skate. So you could do that in Cricut or Canva, Photoshop, whatever software you have. So you know it's going to try your patience weeding out the small lettering with foil vinyl. Because it did, it tried mine, okay? So that's just a word of advice. I would not use these small letters for foil vinyl. I am going to duplicate this and create a separate one without the rolling into 13 and that's what I'm going to cut the foil vinyl on. The one that does say rolling into 13, I am going to um, use this one for my purple vinyl. My file is going to be about 5 inches but my napkins are about 6.5 so you can make them larger or smaller whatever your preference is so if you keep these same dimensions you could get about 10 on one 12 by 12 sheet of course like I said making them larger or smaller is going to determine how many you can get onto one page and also make sure you test out your cuts before you cut a whole sheet just so you know that you know it's going to cut all the way through before you waste the whole sheet of vinyl okay you do want to go through and make sure you mirror your vinyl before you go to cut and then you can go to continue So for the foil vinyl, I used a glitter iron-on setting and I added more pressure. I went through every setting on this thing before I found the right one. So you guys can, of course, test your own or just take my word for it. Completely up to you. And then for the regular vinyl, everyday iron-on was sufficient. Okay, so just to go over the things that I used, I did the Dollar Tree foil heat transfer vinyl, and I did, uh, this one was from Amazon, $1.25 for a 12 by 12 sheet. And then this, you get about eight yards for like $8. And you'll need your weeding tools 
your handheld press or pretty much any any press should be fine i wouldn't use an iron that's just um my opinion i did my setting to two and this is what the final result was of course i think this looks a bit fancier and i will link down below the foil that i use that's pretty comparable to the one from dollar tree and then this one i really like you can see it here here it's like i mean of course you can feel it but it's it's almost like melted in there okay you would need three boxes of this and one pack of napkins okay so that's for 30 napkins um of course making them smaller or bigger whatever would increase or decrease that Outside of that, that is pretty much it. Of course, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.